Going to turn now to another big headline that is out of Washington. House Republicans taking a stand against one of their own, Iowa Congressman Steve King, denying him new committee assignments over racially charged comments. And our senior congressional correspondent, Mayor Bruce, has more. She's there on Capitol Hill for us. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, Congressman King is facing fierce backlash here after he questioned why white supremacy is considered offensive. This morning, he is being condemned by leaders of his own party and punished. The big question here now, though, is how long can he hold on to his job? This morning, Republican Congressman Steve King is facing growing calls for his resignation, even from his own party. What he said was reprehensible and ought to lead to his uh, resignation from Congress. I wish he'd resign, frankly. Overnight, King stripped of his committee assignments. Punishment after the Iowa Republican told the New York Times, white nationalist, white supremacist, Western civilization. How did that language become offensive? King says the comments were mischaracterized. I am simply an American nationalist. A resolution but that explanation, the not enough for his colleagues, today voting on a resolution of disapproval. I call on my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to join me in breaking the definite silence and letting our resounding combination condemnation be heard. The top Republican in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, says King's comments are unworthy of his position. But at the White House, the president is mum. What about Steve King's remarks on white supremacy? I don't, I haven't been following it. I really haven't been following it. Now, despite the very forceful reprimand here, King seems determined to stay in Congress, saying in a statement, I will continue to point out the truth and work with all the vigor that I have to represent Iowans for at least the next two years. George. We will watch those votes today. Okay, Mary, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.